The evening my license to carry came in the mail was a mixed bag of emotions. It seemed like what felt was an eternity of waiting. I usually let my wife and kids check the mail, but as I was eagerly awaiting that Willy Wonka golden ticket, I made checking the mail more of a ritual. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, I started to think something was wrong with my application. The long wait gave me lots of time to think about why I even wanted my concealed carry permit. When I think back, I can trace it to the day when I made my choice to apply for my license to carry to a specific event that happened at our home. It was just an average day for this work from home father of six. I was in my home office when I heard the roar of helicopter blades above my house. Keep in mind, we live in a fairly safe and quiet area. And this wasn't just a few hundred feet away. This was literally on top of my house, the trees blowing at the rush of wind from the chopper. I inspected to see what was happening around my house, to the flurry of police cars lining the street in my neighborhood, the helicopter still making passes back and forth around our neighborhood. As I stayed vigilant of my surroundings, I was grateful my family was across the street away from the activity happening in our backyard. Police jumping the fence on either side of my yard, canine officers barking wildly. What was gonna happen next? Was I in danger? Could the person they were looking for make it into my house? These thoughts started to flood my mind and I realized that I might actually have to protect my home. As it turns out, a robbery had taken place just behind our home and they pursued the assailant into my neighbor's backyard. The police did their job with precision and swift attention. The suspect was apprehended and taken away, but while he was escorted off to jail, the lingering feeling of uncertainty stayed. As someone who works from home 90% of the week, only leaving the house for the rare date night or grocery store runs or client meetings, I never really considered what I should be doing to keep my home more secure. Did I even need a license to carry? What would be the point? Sure, I could carry more around the house, and openly if I wanted to. But that 10% was all I needed to get the ball rolling. That same week, I started the process of getting my license to carry permit, a process I figured would be relatively quick considering my military background and my quickness to get the paperwork completed, fingerprinting, weapons qualification, and training. Almost a year and a half later, due to other factors of the process itself, my daily mail checking became less and less excited. They say good things come to those who wait. Well, it would seem to be true in this case, as I had pretty much stopped caring about what was in the mail, aside from the bills, of course. Then, one Saturday evening, my wife approached me with an envelope. She, surprisingly more excited than I expected, says to me in her teasing voice, I have something for you. Immediately, my mind screamed, FINALLY! I opened the envelope and I was shocked at what I felt. Not a feeling of excitement and joy, but rather fear. Fear that now this was real. The responsibility had shifted from casual daily house wearing to the responsibility of joining the ranks of thousands of other proud concealed carrying citizens. Up to this point, my training, research, YouTubing, etc. had all been in preparation for this day. A year of seeing my closest friends get their license to carry permits, left and right, thinking, where's mine? So now begins the real journey. A journey that is a lifestyle, a mindset. Staying alert, staying alive. That's my story. What's yours? Leave it in the comments below. We don't have to get the trash. <laughs> <laughs>